How do noise-cancelling headphones work? If you're wearing a pair of headphones on a long aeroplane flight, there are two sounds of interest to you. Whatever it is you're trying to listen to and the tiresome drone of the engines. The sound of the engines is coming from outside the headphones. Girls are loud from within. The genius of noise-cancelling headphones is that they can get rid of the sound of the engines without interfering with the so-called music. All sound is really just compression and rarefaction of the air around us. When you fire a starting pistol, the air around the gun is compressed, then it thins out again, then it's compressed again, and so on. Imagine an infinite number of slinkies stretching away in all directions and the sound rippling along them. These are known as longitudinal waves, but for the purpose of illustration, we can represent them with sine waves, with peaks and troughs like ripples in a pond. The engines of the aircraft produce a sound wave of constant amplitude, that is the height of the peaks and the depths of the troughs, and constant wavelength, that is the length of the entire wave. And if you produce another sound with the same amplitude and wavelength, but opposite phase, that is, it has a peak where the original sound has a trough, you have something called an antiphase. The two cancel each other out, and the result is silence. Weirdly, you add two things together, but arrive at nothing. But think of it as adding plus two to minus two. So, noise-cancelling headphones incorporate a tiny microphone that listens to the ambient noise, in this case, the jet engines. Their internal electronics then measure this and work out an antiphase. But, of course, you don't hear the antiphase, you hear nothing. And because these microphones aren't listening to the sounds inside the headphones, your music is unaffected. Noise-cancelling headphones are much better at dealing with continuous noise, like jet engines, than they are at coping with sudden or abrupt sounds, so they don't work very well in a gunfight or Prime Minister's question time. When you switch your noise-cancelling headphones on, you will notice a very short delay before they take effect. This is the electronics measuring the ambient sound and coming up with the antiphase. They can't do it immediately. Headphones like this were first devised in the 1970s, but by then the technology was already well understood. Noise-cancelling systems had already been incorporated in the cockpits of aircraft and helicopters. More recently, it's become popular with car makers. Not only can active noise cancellation make a car quieter by playing an antiphase through the stereo speakers, it can actually improve the sound. A sophisticated system can replace engine noise with something nicer. So you can drive around in a dreary four-cylinder diesel hatchback, but enjoy the soundtrack from a V12 Ferrari racing car. This sort of thing is expensive. But then again, a Ferrari 250 GTO recently sold for $35 million. Why not subscribe here? Uh, you can hear me answer more of your intelligent questions, more historical stuff from Knowledge Badger, and more of our live experiments. This is Head Squeeze, squeezing your head in the interests of making you a more renaissance sort of man or woman.